Hello, it's Thursday. Welcome to a new day. Today's lesson, block 11, lesson 2, rhyming words. Aim, you will be able to identify the pattern of rhyming words in the poem. Keywords, stanza, rhyming words, pattern. It's rhyme time. Can you find the rhymes? But wait, what are rhyming words? Rhyming words are words which have the same last sound. Look and read the set of words and we will circle the words which do not rhyme. One, pie, sky, knee, fly. Which word do you think does not rhyme? Knee. So we will circle the word knee. Two, moon, tool, school, pool. Which one? Moon. So we will circle again moon. Three, glue, flu, to, wood. So which one? Wood. Okay, yes, it's wood. So sir, circle wood. So the words that do not rhyme in this set of words are knee, moon, and wood. Look at these rhyming words. Loud, cloud, mouse, house. Look at how the words are ending. Loud, O-U-D, cloud also, O-U-D, mouse, O-U-S-E, house also, O-U-S-E. Look at these two words again. C-O-O-K, cook, L-O-O-K, look. So the word ends with O-O-K. So such words are called pattern rhyming or rhyming pattern. So the six words which we have learned just now are example of rhyming pattern because it has the same last sound. Today, again, we will read the poem, There is a Mouse. And what will we do? We will underline the rhyming words. But first, let me ask you a question. How can we tell that there is a mouse? It's a poem and not a story. Think, I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. We can tell that there is a mouse is a poem because a poem has shorter lines, lines are called stanza, and it has rhyming words. But the story has sentences, and it has paragraphs, and the sentences are longer, and we do not find rhyming words in stories. Now let's underline the rhyming words in this poem. So let's start underlining. Okay. Now the four lines is called stanza. So in the first stanza, what are the rhyming words? Mouse, house. And how does it end? It ends with O-U-S-E, O-U-S-E. The second now, C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-T-C-A-
not a sock. Look at the word train, T-R-A-I-N. And the next word, L-A-N-E. Though it has the same ending sound, the spellings are different. So these two are not rhyming patterns. Let us see on this page also. Let's take the stanza. There is a car in the jar. I need a spoon, not a broom. So, which one? Spoon, broom. S-P-O-O-N, P-R-U-N-E. These two are not rhyming patterns. Here are two questions. Where are rhyming words coming in the poem? That means, where do we find the rhyming words in the poem? Yes, we find it at the end of the line of every stanza. Next question. What are the rhyming words in the first stanza of the poem? You know it. Write it in your notebook. Today's homework. Which rhyming words have the same ending sound but different spelling patterns? That is from the poem, there is a mouse. You go through the poem and then find out the words which are not rhyming patterns remember it has different spelling as to question one find the rhyming words from both the boxes write them below here you will find there are rhyming patterns and rhyming words with different spelling find it out and write it down one has been done for you sand bland and let me help you with another like uh, eight eight question two write three more rhyming words for the following words wheat fruit blue you find three more rhyming words for the following words you can do it try it understand the lesson well and write the answer. That's all. Meet you on Monday. Bye. Bye.